Well, it's Thursday, the 2nd of June, which means it's Platinum Jubilee weekend, but it's also the beginning of uh, the Pride Month, which means, again, companies, virtual signaling companies are going to be changing, have already changed their logos into the rainbow colors, as you can see in the first meme going around the social media. Poor Ukraine. They are missing out. They are because they're being completely left behind now, uh, in a sense that all the logos, until now, the last few months have been uh, yellow and blue because of the Ukrainian flag. And as you can see in this meme, they are now being kicked out of the car because it's all about the rainbow. Now, social media is now filled with all these memes. But the problem I have with this is that, of course, we now in the West, in this country, live in a liberal democracy. And until now, we didn't really have a problem uh, with any sort of division when it comes to these sort of issues. Somehow, being imported from America, uh, just like the BLM movement, the left, the hard left, the liberal left, they're trying to divide our society by making everything political. Look at this. This is the list of the companies that we can see from Mercedes Benz to BMW, Cisco, Lenovo, and all of them who have changed their logos uh, across the world, apart from one area, the Middle East. The Middle Eastern logos have not changed have not been changed into the rainbow colors because you might accidentally offend the muslim world really i mean at some point you have to think what matters more making money or trying to do virtual signaling or actually have some sort of values if you really believe in pride month then just stand up for your values defend them if you don't really believe them and you're just doing it for, you know, because you, that's your lobby and your PR team telling you to do it because you think that that's the best way to get the LGBT, LGBT community to buy BMWs for some reason, then that's absolutely stupid. Because in the Middle East, there are still a lot of people. If you want to fight for these rights, there are people in the Middle East who are actually struggling. They're being oppressed. And it might actually help. If you're going to do any virtual signaling, it might be, help, it might be helpful to do it there. Now, it continues by having all these random memes being humiliated, the whole of the, the, the lobby, uh, because companies during Pride Bay, for example, this meme saying, how do you do, fellow gays? <laughs> Obviously, if you know the original meme, then you will get it. Now, the problem here is that, as I said, everything is about marketing, everything is about uh, their, their businesses. When companies change their logos for Pride Month, it's basically trying to force the kids, uh, the LGBT community, come on buy our products as uh, you can see peter griffin forcing the kid to buy <laughs> his products <laughs> it is completely ridiculous that we as i said we generally didn't have these problems before but suddenly out of nowhere everything is becoming a political issue and everything is being dominated by the, the liberal left then if you don't have the rainbow flag all over your face then that means you just hate everybody that means you're the devil but it's not really the case is it but the biggest um, hypocrisy is that they've completely abandoned the for now the yellow and blue uh, flag of ukraine the companies there when june starts i don't want to play with you anymore ukraine i've got my new rainbow flag and it is it, it's, it's showing their true face the, the the companies and the, the lobby groups that simply every 10 minutes they just support the current thing and there's one company there's still good news tesla Tesla have not changed their logo. Tesla do not get involved with political matters. And there is still some hope for the future of humanity uh, when it comes to Elon Musk, Tesla and his other companies as well. So if the free market as a model wants to survive, then businesses need to learn from each other. Competition is good. And maybe it's good to use Tesla as the best case study. We're going to come back in half an hour with an update on Tony Blair's knighthood. So subscribe to the channel on my TC and we are the media.